Hi, my name is Raymond J. Manaig. I'm the managing partner of Manaig Manaig and Company CPAs. We are a CPA firm located at Laguna, Philippines and our website is mmco.com.ph. My topics for today is zero-rated sale of services, 30% final withholding tax, and 12% final withholding VAT. Now, the reason why I am preparing this video is so that this may be made available online for those CPAs who may want to start their practice and to entities who may have the same uh, situation, transactions, so that they may know the tax implications and tax solutions. If ever there are tax uh, situations or solutions that I will not be able to cover in this short video and you're still interested, you can contact us to the contact details that we will be leaving at the end of this video. Now to start with, uh, zero rated sale of services means that uh, it's a service rendered to a person engaged in business conducted outside of the Philippines or to a person uh, not engaged in business who is outside of the Philippines when the services were performed and the consideration are the considerations are in acceptable foreign currency accounted for with uh, uh, in compliance with the Banco Central ng Pilipinas rules and regulations. So another topic is the 30% final withholding tax. When you speak of 30% final withholding tax, uh, these are uh, non-resident foreign corporation income earners who provide services to a Philippine entity. There is actually a 25% final withholding tax on the non-resident alien uh, not engaged in trade or business, but uh, for it to be called such, uh, about uh, one, 180 days or less uh, stay in the Philippines. So that will be classified as a non-resident alien not engaged in trade or business. Now, going back to the 30% final withholding tax, such a transaction or such tax is an obligation of the Philippine entity to whom the services are being rendered by the non-resident. Uh, another obligation is to withhold the 12% uh, advance withholding VAT for which uh, such Philippine entity as the payer is required to file a 1600 BAR form. And such input tax is available for, uh, for such Philippine entity to offset against its other output taxes for its other transactions. So let me show you a sample computation just to emphasize the, the topic, the impact of the topic on the non-resident foreign corporation. So this is an invoice amounting to 11,200. Now, the first obligation of the Philippine entity payer is to deduct 30% final withholding tax. So basically, if this is the tax base, then that will be around, uh, that will be 7,000. And then deducting this, deducting this again, so there will be a net loss of 1,000 USD. So he, in here, you can see already that this is how huge the, ta the tax impact is. It is on the non-resident foreign corporation. Now, aside from this, there is what we call uh, a 12% advanced withholding VAT. And uh, if this is the tax base, then the the VAT input is 1,200. Now, this but input is available to be used by the Philippine entity against its output but the thing is that the hit is on the non-resident foreign corporation for the 12% being deducted out of the invoice but the benefit is that of the Philippine entity so this means that the non-resident foreign corporation may actually, can actually convince or make an arrangement with the Philippine entity 
to for the Philippine entity to be the one to absorb the 12% instead of them. Anyway, the hit is, uh, though the hit is on them, but the benefit is on the Philippine entity. So basically, they will benefit. That will be a uh, an additional compensation to them if you will analyze it. So that's uh, the first takeaway. Okay, let's continue our discussion on the 30% final withholding tax. Uh, there is a related TTRA topic to that uh, specific rate for it to be applied or to be exempted, specifically for these kinds of transactions. Now, the TTRA is Tax Treaty Relief Application. There are tax treaties between the Philippines and other countries. The last time I checked, it's 43. Wherein, um, such transactions may actually be exempted from the 30% final withholding tax. How? You have to identify whether or not there is uh, the existence of a permanent establishment or what we call PE. Let's call it PE. So when there is permanent establishment, then there is 30% final withholding tax. If there is no permanent establishment, then there should be no taxation. There should be ex it should be exempt. However, the, there should be a filing of the TTRA, and that is the responsibility of the non-resident foreign corporation. Although they do not have any existence in the Philippines, they can actually outsource that to, to, to any of their contacts here to facilitate the, the filing with the, with the BAR. Now, again, if there is no PE, it is not automatic that the transaction will be exempt from uh, the 30% final withholding tax. There has to be a TTRA file with the BAR. In many cases in the in the Court of Tax Appeals, um, it seems that the TTRA is not required anymore. However, these times, it's still the position of the Bureau of Internal Revenue, BAR, that such TTRAs should still be filed for the transactions to, to really be exempt. Now, there are also preferential rates in the tax treaties, uh, which we will not be discussing in this video. One of which is the uh, issuance of the CORTT, which is Certificate of Residence for Tax Treaty Reliefs, which covers interest, royalties, and dividends. So that is the end of our video for, for now. And I hope, uh, especially for those who are uh, new in the profession or who would want to start their practice, I hope you learned uh, something from us and should you still have any questions or you may want to, to, to get more details, you, you always have the option to, to further study uh, the topics. We have RRs, RMCs, RMOs related to this and so that you will be more equipped in your practice of the profession. And for the, the taxpayers who are not CPA firms, you can also contact us at the numbers that we will be displaying at the end of this video. That's it for today. Thank you.